Welcome to Math Movies with Miss Foyer Beck and Miss Valuti. Today we will be solving three digit by two digit multiplication with the traditional algorithm. Let's start with 237 times 43. So the first thing I want to do is set up my problem vertically and I'm going to be thinking about making sure to line up my place values. So you can see that I lined up the 10 and the 1's place under the 10 and 1's place in 237. Really what I'm going to be doing in, today in this problem is I'm going to be solving 237 times 3 and 237 times 40. So I'm going to start by breaking up my array to kind of show that. So I have 40 and I have 3. And I'm going to start with 237 times 3. So I'm going to be figuring out what belongs here in my array. And so to do so, I'm going to start with 3 times 7, which is 21. And I'm going to put the 2 over the tens place. Remember that I'm solving all of this in one step. So I'm doing all of 237 times 3 in one step. And so I need to think about that. Now I'm going to move on and do 3 times 30. But remember, I'm just going to think of this as a 3. So 3 times 3 is 9 plus the 2 is 11. So I'm going to put down the 1 and carry the other 1 over to my hundreds place. And now I'm ready to do 3 times 200. But remember, I'm just going to think 3 times 2 is 6 plus 1 is 7. And I'm going to put that here. So 237 times 3 is 711. Now I'm going to now move over to solve 237 times 40. And because I'm moving from the 3 to the 4, I need to account for that by putting in a placeholder to show that I'm moving over to the tens place. Now I'm going to start by solving 4 or 40 times 7. I'm just going to think 4 times 7 because I have this placeholder here. So 4 times 7 is 28. So I'm going to put down the 8 and carry the 2. And I'm going to get rid of this 2 because that was from earlier. So now I'm going to solve 40 times 3, but I'm just 30, but I'm just going to think 4 times 3 is 12, plus 2 is 14. So I'm going to put down the 4, and again, carry the 1. Now I'm going to get rid of this one so I don't get confused. And lastly, I'm going to do 40 times 200, but I'm just going to think 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. And now I have solved 237 times 40 as 9,480. Okay, and you can see that right here in my work. And so now I'm ready to add these two together. I'm going to get 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 8 is 9, 7 plus 4 is 11, and 1 plus 9 is 10. And then I'm going to put in my comma, and my final answer is 10,191. And you can see that that makes sense because if you look at my array, I have 9,480 and 711, and if I were to add that together, I'd get 10,191. Let's try another problem, 168 times 74. So again, I'm setting it up vertically, making sure to align my place values. And I'm going to be solving 168 times 4 and 168 times 70. So over here in my array, it would be very helpful for me to show that by breaking apart the 74. And I'm going to start by doing 4 times 8, which is 32. So I'm going to put down the 2 and bring the 3 over to the tens place. Now I'm going to solve 4 times 60. But I'm just going to think 4 times 6 is 24 plus 3 is 27. So I'm going to put down the 7 and bring the 2 over to my hundreds place. And now I'm going to move from 4 times 100, but I'm just going to think 4 times 1 is 4 plus 2 is 6. Okay, And I'm going to get that 168 times 4 is 672, which makes sense. Because if I had 100 times 4, that would be 400, and 60 times 4 would be 240. And 
400 plus 200, that's already in the 600. So this is making a lot of sense that it would be 672. Now I'm going to start solving 168 times 70 to figure out what belongs here. And in order to do so, I'm moving from the ones place to the tens place. And to account for that, I'm going to put in a placeholder. Now I'm ready. I'm going to solve seven times eight, which is 56. So I'm gonna put down the six and I'm going to bring the five over to the tens place. I'm gonna get rid of the one, the three from before because I don't want to get confused. Now I'm going to do 70 times 60, but I'm just gonna think seven times six is 42, plus five is 47. Put down the seven and bring the four. And again, I'm gonna cross this out because I already used that earlier. And now I'm going to do 70 times 100, but I'm just gonna think seven times one is seven, plus four is 11. I'm gonna put down the one and then put down the other one. Now I'm doing that because there's no more thousands and ten thousands over here to carry over to. Now I am ready to add those together. First I'm gonna go over here and make sure to fill in that this would be 11,760. And now I'm going to add two plus zero is two, seven plus six is 13, seven plus six is 13 plus one is 14, one plus one is two, and one is one, and I get 12,432. Which, it does make some sense because if I had estimated this problem, I might have said that this was close to 200 and this is close to 100 and 200 times 100 is 20,000. Okay, or even 150 times 100 would be 15,000. So I know it's in the ballpark here. And as you can see, um, using the traditional algorithm with three by two is not a whole lot different from two by two. It's just going through a little bit extra steps and getting larger products in the end. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you learned a lot today.